Hey, Gemini gang. What's happening? Happy Saturday, you guys. Let's see what's going on. All Gemini placements. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation. Personal readings are on the description box if you want a one-on-one -on -one with moi. Please check out the website, you guys, regarding re uh, details of the readings with me. Um, yeah, it'll have everything that you need to know, okay? And, um, yeah, if you want to try Mystic Sense, that's in the description box as well. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes, Geminis. Hit that subscribe. So, let's see what's going on today, Geminis. And nothing comes out. Interesting. I would say my meditation today was pretty neutral. Like, it wasn't... It wasn't bad. It wasn't really intense. As intense as it usually is. Soulmate. Okay, so I'll take the top one. A lot of them flipped over. There we go. There's that children card. Child. It's always something to do with some children with you, Geminis. Okay, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, of course. And romantic feelings. So, Gemini, someone feels like you're their soulmate or vice versa. You may feel like um, they're your soulmate, Geminis, okay? So, let's see what's going on. Someone wants to talk, though, Geminis. Get something off their chest. But what could it be? Is it a Virgo for some of you? The hermit. Someone is by themselves, someone that's a loner. Or well, they may see you that way. Um, Gemini's, I'll take the Six of Wands, that's on top. Um, I'm seeing the, uh, the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, interesting. This person may want children. I'm trying to see how the Six of Wands goes with the children card and I'm, I'm pretty sure spirit's gonna tell me the hangman yes oh someone is seeing something from a different point of view oh thank you spirit <laughs> man i love when i get those epiphanies so i feel like gemini someone did something out of their ego Yep, it may not it may not involve like physical children, Gemini's, but I feel like someone may have acted immaturely, um, Gemini's, and did something out of their ego, and now they're seeing some they're seeing it differently now. So I feel like with the heart, the hangman under the heart to heart, the, the hangman too is about like surrender, sacrifice. This is what's interesting with the the hangman under heart to heart, which I've seen for you guys before. Is someone is about to like drop their ego completely drop their ego because the hangman's like dropping their ego to say what it is they need to say so that's why I was like okay this person did something out of their ego here um Gemini's mm -hmm. yep five of wands yeah okay six of pentacles on the bottom so let me say this Gemini's I feel like someone is going to um, really let it all out. That, that's kind of what I'm getting with this. And you may not be used to this from this person, but this person has had some time to think. If, if they're by themselves, Gemini's, like I said, it could be a Virgo, Pisces. Uh, that's what I see so far. Fire sign. This person's had some time to really think, soul search. Um, and, and kind of look at their ways. And I feel like this person may know that they're, they are wrong. There's, this person's wrong about something that they've done. Um, and I feel like with the children card here, it's this person acting childish or doing something childish. Um, Gemini's.
Yep. Oh my gosh, Gemini's. The Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. Someone's coming out of Hermit mode. The Two of Wands. Yep. Somebody. Mm, child. The Ten of Cups. The Fool. Listen, Gemini's. The Three of Wands. Holy fucking shit. Someone's about to pour it all out. This person may say things like, um, because the Ten of Cups can be about someone appreciating you. Like this person is going to say they appreciate you and everything that they that you've done for them. Um, yeah, Gemini's. Just a lot of nice things, a lot of kind things. And I'm telling you, someone is going to drop their ego for this conversation. This person wants to surrender to this union. And I tell you guys all the time how much I love this Ten of Cups card because it has that little heart there in the middle. Right there. Isn't this just the cutest little thing? <laughs> so I feel like this person is ready to surrender to their happiness because I feel like this person feels emotionally fulfilled to you. So that's kind of what I'm getting with that, Gemini. I also feel like, too, this person wants children with you. Now I'm seeing it with the Two of Wands. For some of you, they want children. Like this person is planning on having children with you. Now, that's not going to resonate with all of you, okay? We I know that. Some of you, is going to be a blended family situation. Take it how it resonates. But I feel like this person doesn't want to be alone. They don't want to be alone. Someone's getting ready to get out of hermit mode. If you haven't been dealing with this person, again, take it how it resonates, okay? I feel like for a lot of you, for a lot of you this person is alone, like they're by themselves, they're single, they spend a lot of time by themselves. They might be loners, but I feel like they're wanting to get out of that energy. And they may have fought this connection because, you know, when, when you get into a connection, you're vulnerable. You know what I mean? You have to show different sides of yourself. You're around that person. Also, too, with this, some for some of you, this person wants to introduce you to their children, if they have children. Yep. Or say you and them have a child because there's two children here. Say you and them have a child. They want the children to meet. So that's another angle to look at that. Like this person wanting to bring you around their children. Um, Gemini or introduce you or whatever the case may be. Like make you a part of their life. Make you a part of their family. Um, Y'all the Ten of Cups is on the bottom of this deck too. Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, that's, this is the vibe that I'm getting, Gemini, that someone doesn't want to be alone. Someone wants to be in a connection. For some of you, the children may have been in the way because they're like, you know, especially if they're like a single parent and they don't have a sitter and stuff all the time. So they're like, well, I can't, I can't do it this week because I have, you know, the children or I have my child or whatever. Or I can't do it today because I have my child. I have no sitter. So I feel like this person is like, Okay, if I introduce, you know, Gemini to my child, again, this could be vice versa, then we don't really have to do all this um, planning around the child. Because I feel like this person sees long term with you. You're this person's happily ever after, Gemini's, and they're ready to surrender to it. I still feel like this person did something out of their ego, too, though. Or said something that they didn't mean. Um, and now I feel like they're seeing something differently. The sun. Wow, wow, wow. And then the... <gasps> Y'all, come on. The Ace of Cups... The Knight of Cups on the bottom? <laughs> Gemini's. I'm telling you, you're getting this person out of that, out of this loner shit. Because like I said, this person wants you to be like a part of their life. And I feel like they're going to like, you know, incorporate you into their life. For like, like I said, a lot of you, they want to introduce you to their children. Or if, if you've already met their children, like do stuff together. Um, and not have everything so separate because that's kind of the vibe that I get that um, 
things might be really separate between you two. But I'm also getting, like I said, that this person wants children with you. Like they, they, when they plan for the future, when they think of the future, they think about having children with you. Gemini's. This person's about to get out of hermit mode. Fuck. The Knight of Swords. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This person is on their fucking way. And as I'm holding the deck, I'm holding the deck like this. The Two of Cups and the Star. Y'all look. <gasps> wow. 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 <laughs> I see this happening pretty quickly. For a lot of you. This is going to be pretty quick. And I feel like they want to do it fast. The King of Pentacles. Y'all the fucking Two of Cups again. I can't make it up. The King of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, Gemini's. But I'm telling you this person wants... A family with you they want to provide for you um, like I said when they look into the future they see you in it they want to include you into their life into their family they may even want to introduce you to a male figure too but I just see that like their family overall Gemini that this person wants to incorporate with you this person may not bring people home a lot either so um, that might be that might come as a surprise <laughs> not only to you but to their family because this is not the type of person this this is the person that and again take it I resonate it's not gonna resonate with all of you okay this is the person that is usually at the family cookouts at the family functions by themselves they don't bring nobody and I feel like they want to change that Gemini's so not only are you gonna be shocked at this they're gonna be shocked at this their child might be a Gemini as well. They might have a Gemini child. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a, um, I'm seeing a, uh, uh, this, the Knight of Swords is a young adult too. So, um, yeah, yep. There's that Queen of Cups. Now, usually we see the King, but this time we're seeing the Queen, which, which is nothing wrong with it. Uh, yeah, Gemini's. I feel like heavily this person's been fighting their feelings. And it's so interesting. This is under romantic feelings. I, I, didn't, I didn't even notice. Um, but it says uh, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So yeah, this person's been fighting their feelings. Or you have Gemini's. Because this person, you may feel like this person wasn't interested. Or, you know, you were getting mixed signals. But I feel like this person's just a loner. Like, that's, that's kind of what I'm getting. Like, they like to be by themselves. You know, and they've gotten used to that. They may have been single for a long time. They may have had, you know, flings here and there. But for the most part, this person's by themselves. And like I said, they don't really bring people around. That, that's that's kind of what I'm getting here, um, Gemini's. But I feel like this person wants your attention. And I feel like they're doing something to get your attention as well. Could be a Sagittarius for some of you. Another night. This person could be younger than you. Um... Yeah, uh, Gemini's. But I feel like this person is wanting like something solid, a solid commitment. And they will offer it. And it makes sense because Jupiter, Jupiter just went into Taurus. So it's going to be a lot of commitments. And I said, you guys, um, at y'all's uh, yearly spread I did back in January, that a lot of you guys are going to be getting into relationships. And a lot of you have been emailing me telling me that you have been I've been getting all kinds of emails about people getting engaged and now what's kind of irritating to me though is I haven't gotten any wedding invitations okay so y'all need to change that however <laughs> um especially now and my natal Jupiter is in Taurus like I was born with Jupiter in Taurus so uh check your charts to see where your Jupiter is at because if you're going through a Jupiter return Shit's about to get way more prosperous for you. And a lot of you are going to find love. Um, even if it's not, find out where Taurus is in your chart. That's the part that's going to amplify for you. Okay, so, um, yeah, Gemini's. Between now, uh, May of 2023 and May of 2024, Jupiter's going to be in Taurus, which is the king of pinnacles. Holy shit. Y'all, pardon me. I'm, I'm kind of... Um, I'm getting into astrology, so deeper. Whoa, y'all. And it's Taurus season right now, but it's almost our season. 
okay so um depending on how you look at the chart tomorrow is gemini season but some people would say it's today so right now we're on the cusp but yeah gemini's jupiter is in taurus right now so it's going to be a lot of commitments engagements weddings family things um stuff like that but like i said in another reading if relationships break up it'll be because of uh material things so be very mindful of that okay be very very mindful of that i just get a couple of these because we are ahead of y'all y'all <clears throat> I love your body. You're so beautiful to me. But look what fell right on top of the King of Pentacles. Earth sign. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I can't fucking make this shit up. I can't. Y'all. <laughs> oh, man, I'm good. Okay, so I talked to you telepathically. It's on the bottom here. All right, let's see. Let me get, I'm just going to get a few of these. We don't really need a lot of them. Um, Everybody Knows by John Legend. Mm -hmm. They're going to try to snag you up before somebody else gets you. I don't know how to fix this. Please tell me how. They'll figure it out. Trust me, Gemini's. <laughs> We've spent lifetimes together. Mm -hmm. You have. Can I come over? Mm -hmm. Just be careful with them cheerings, honey. Hours and Hours by Muni Long. I fucking love this song. I don't think I've ever pulled that for y'all. Maybe I have. I don't know. I want to see you right now. I'm telling you there's a sense of urgency here, uh, Gemini's. Secret Crush. Let me take you on a date. Yeah, you're going to start seeing more of this person. If you haven't seen them yet. I'm jealous I want you to myself. Because for some of you, they've just been in hermit mode. I stay awake for hours thinking about you. Let me cut the deck. Will you wait for me? Some of you already been waiting on this person. Stop ignoring me. <laughs> hit those likes, hit those subscribe, Gemini's. Thank you for watching. Peace out.